Hi friends, this is Manish Pandey. Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to count data table rows. Here you can see we have this Excel file and in this Excel file we have 50 rows. It means so this first one is the header of this data, right? And we have 50, you can see here 50 count we have 50 records available in this one. So currently we are able to see this manually. We, we can open this and we can see, okay, we have 50 rows. Now we need to count this and we need to see this dynamically on runtime, like how many rows we have available in this Excel file. So the same thing I'm going to show you. For that, let me take here one assign activity. And this assign activity is for assign excel file path and this is our excel file path copy this right here dot xlsx so this is our excel file path we are directly passing this one because this is stored in our project folder now let me take here one read range activity that will be a part of workbook take this now enter this excel file path here this variable and enter this seat name so we have seat 1 now remove this because we are not going to pass any range we are going to read the complete excel file and then we want to see the records the rows available in that file that excel so for that we need to read this excel and store in a data table so create one data table here control k that is employee data table now click on this check this add headers because we want to just consider that as a header as a column names and we want the actual rows now let me take one assign activity again so that we can get the count now here this is the main let me create one variable control k and this is for row count and this row count is integer now right here data table it means this data table so we are going to read this so employee data table dot rows it means we are going to count the rows of this data table dot count so you need to write this one employee data table dot rows dot count now you can take one message box so that you can see here the count row count let's say your requirement is to check if rows count is 50 so you want to delete the last row or you want to just get the data from the last row right you just want 50 rows data so you can get based on that or if you want uh, one previous to that last row right it means if you have 50 and you want to get 49 records of data so you can do like that like uh, row count minus one so you will get 49 records like that so you can do like that now let me run this So here we are getting 50 records. So in our Excel file we have in seat 1 we have 50 records. Right? You can see here. So by this way we can count that Excel rows. So I hope this is helpful. If so then please like this video and please subscribe this channel if you have not subscribed yet. Thank you so much for watching this video.